Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and in this video, I will show you how to visualize population density change between 2011 and 2031 in Mapbox. So in the previous video, I have shown you how to visualize data from Arwin to Mapbox as well as getting density change data in Arwin. Now, using those context of data visualization from our into mapbox and building a visualization of density change data set from previous video we will see the comparison of population change as a custom built map in mapbox so let's just jump right into it so the first step here after i get the shape file of the density change using the jo join with keys and um, joining the population density um, data set with my 2011 to generate a geo geolocation data, geolocation attributes. Now I can download this um, output data as shapefile. And then what I, I want to do next is I'm going to also um, download the 2011 um, estimated resident population also as shape file so I can visualize those two data sets in Mapbox. So after I download the S shape file, the, those two data, now I can go to uh, Mapbox. So here in Mapbox, um, I will go to Studio and then here in the Studio, I can click Tile Set and then I can choose New Tile Set and I can go to my download folder and then I can um, upload my um, zip shape file data. And then here we can see that it's uploading our shape file. So again, click new tile set and then upload the second file, um, the second shape file onto um, my box. And then I can again click confirm and it's going to upload uh, my data. So after that, I can go back to style and then I can select new style and then I can again select blank style as my blank canvas. So I can click on customize blank. So here um, in my new blank canvas, I can um, click add new layer here and then here I will scroll down and I will find the Mapbox satellite. This is going to be my um, base map. So here, if I go back to style, now I can see um, this um, satellite that is going to be um, the, base, the base map of my population um, density change and population 2011. So the next is um, I want to um, click uh, add new layer again and then here find the tile set that you have um, um, uploaded. So when you successfully um, uploaded your shape file into Mapbox as a new tile set, you're going to be able to see the data here in the um, select data dialog box. So here, this is my population um, density change data tile set that I have created. So here, what I'm going to do with my data here is I'm going to select type and then I'm going to choose field extrusion to give um, height value to my data. And then here in the filter, so in this case, in this um, population density change, if you um, if you see this data that you have here, they have the value of all the numbers inside your data. And if you see my previous video in my data set here, I have 2011 data sets because um, in order for me to create a geometry, geolocation geo data to my calculation, I, I have to join the two data sets between 2011 and my density change. So if I want to visualize only the density change data onto my map, I will have to create a um, filter on the type of data I want to show. 
as well as putting um, value on it. So for example, if um, I go here, I can see here density, um, my density change in the, um, in the filter. So I click that. And then here in the, um, in the data field value, um, so I want to visualize um, populate density change that has um, numbers greater than 10,000. So here I can choose greater than, and then here I can type 10,000. So here you can see that the green area here is showing the density change that is greater than 10,000. You can you can select um, whichever filter you want. You can select um, less than um, 10,000 or you can add another number you want. Maybe you want to go 50,000 or um, 100,000. So here, after I'm, I'm selecting my data here, I can go back to style. Now, here in this, um, in this layer, I can see the height um, options that I can fill in. So here, in this height option, go to style across data range. And then again here, select density change um, in the value. So here, you see um, the range here. So what I want to do is I want to put um, maximum height on the maximum um, value here. So it, this means that the maximum value is um, 151,000. And with this maximum value, how much height you want on your data. So here I'm going to um, write down 10,000. Um, and then on the minimum height here, so this is the minimum value I have of my data. But this is the minimum value of, F, um, of all the data. But here, um, this is not less than 10,000. So this data... So my data doesn't have this value, but here I'm going to um, write down 1000. So here we can already see that it has um, height value. Now we can go to color and then we can select again style across data range and again choose the density change. And then we can change um, the color to show um, on the map here. So if I choose, so this one is for the minimum value I have. So if I choose this color, it can show that um, the minimum the minimum value will have um, this color. And then here I can go to the maximum value here, and then I can go to maybe the greenish color. Um, I can go to here. So here, as you can see, now the color is built up according to the value of data I have. And also the height, we can see that this, so as you can see here, we can see that this deep color with the tallest um, height, it means that the density change in these two area is the greatest out of all um, the data that is shown on the map. And this is all um, the value that it has here is all greater than 10,000 um, population change. So here you can adjust the color. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a new layer again, and I'm going to add the um, population in 2011 so we can see um, how the population in 2011 of certain area correlates to the density change in that particular area. So I'm going to search here of the um, population data. So this is um, the population data in 2011. 
and then here I'm going to include everything so I'm not going to put filter on it and then for the tab I'm going to leave it um, as um, fill type and then I can go back to style and then I can move um, the layer below um, the density change and then now I can change um, the color so I can go to color and then I can select again style across that range but here I'm going to choose the estimated resident population so here this is the value of the estimated resident population um, of my data here and I'm gonna um, change the color to um, blue so this is the minimum value it has um, in in my data and then here um, this is the maximum population so we can already see the the difference of the value data the minimum is um, still a positive number whereas in our um, density change the the minimum value is minus so it means that this density change is decreasing instead of increasing and we can see that the maximum value here it has um higher higher number than um, the one we have here so here I will go to um, change the color and then here as you can see if I go here and then um, I change the opacity now I can see the difference so for example in this part um, of area in 2011 where it has the most um, the highest um, the highest density with with this darker color in the density change it actually doesn't even have the 10,000 density change so it means that this particular area didn't have um, a, a great value of um, growth co compared to the other area so if you can see here this area that has um, um, a great number of population density in this particular area um, we can see that the density change is also high in this area so that's how you can um, visualize your data from Arim and then see the comparison in Mapbox and this is also to custom build your own map using data sets or data evaluation or data um, analysis that you want in Mapbox.